Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to add ZigBee PIR motion sensor to a home assistant so that you can auto control your lamp when someone is in house that lamp will be on and someone out of the house the lamp will be off. So you can see this is our Xiaomi switch we have integrated to our KC868 server by the ZigBee. You can see I can turn on the relay 1, relay 3, this is relay 3, this is relay 1, 2, 3 and turn off. This we have tell you how to, how to do this in last video. And in this video I will show you how to integrate this PIR sensor. Uh, this PIR sensor is used by the sun of uh, also you can integrate the humidity and temperature sensor that is Zigbee and also this is door sensor. This all can integrate to KS868 server by the Zigbee because they all is used by the Zigbee 3 version. So now we will look at the home assistant. Uh, because we have used the Zigbee to MQTT, so you can see here is the sign of uh, PIR sensor that is supported by Zigbee to MQTT. Actually, you can choose any brand, not uh, only sign of, but also you can choose Xiaomi or other brand for Zigbee sensor. I just take example. You can see here is the PIR sensor. Now I have quit in my home assistant. That PIR state is false. That is nobody at here. You can see my hand, if I have in front of sensor, uh, you can see uh, this is true. And the output 4, that is on. So that if someone in house, the output, the relay will be on, the lamp will be on. So you can see here, is channel 4 output is auto on. So I can close it. Uh, you can see here also is true. That it have uh, needed the delay time, uh, that will be recovered to the force. So that uh, have uh, about uh, about 30 seconds. So let's go on. Uh, this is the PIR sensor. Uh, you can see here is the PIR sensor. Uh, that is for communication, uh, for uh, pair the signal uh, for this hole. And this is used by the battery. So you can see this is some of PIR sensor. And this is in front. And this is for communication uh, for network setting at uh, this hole. So you can see I can imprint it here. And now you can see, we can see the step. That will be very easy. Just a step one and a step two. The step one is edit the configuration uh, dot yaml file. Just create the name of the sensor is PIR state. So you can see why we have created this topic. Uh, you can go to this website and click Zigbee to MQTT. That uh, we have two devices. Uh, we have learned if you first time to use, you just click this permit, uh, this join. Then you just use this uh, stick on this hole uh, for about hold on about three seconds. That will be let this device add to this Zigbee to MQTT. I have already added, so you can see here. And this is the device have detect uh, this is PIR sensor. Uh, this first one is for Xiaomi, and this one is for PIR. If you want integrate this dot sensor or temperature sensor, also use, uh, use this way to add to ZB2M QTT. And now we can see here is the logo. Uh, you can see. This is information we, we can clear. And now we can see uh, uh, this is true. Uh, we need to wait for recover to the force. We can click this and uh, click logo. Just wait for a moment. Uh, when the state is changed, uh, that message will be out feedback to home assistant. And we can stop disable this join. Clear. And now we wait for the message upload so that we can according this message to judgment. You can see here, that is the feedback. Uh, this uh, Johnson, this occupant, that is false. Uh, see this Johnson file? And if my hand is in front of it, and you can see uh, here is the occupy, it becomes true. So we just add this occupy to home assistant config file to uh, judgment is false or true. 
so that we can turn on the relay or turn off the relay. So you can see, I can copy and paste this one. And I have created, you can see here, I have created that name is PIR state, and the Johnson is just use this occupy. So that we need to know this state uh, true or false. So you just copy this code. Copy and paste to your home assistant.yaml file. So you can see file at and uh, scroll down. And you can see here I have already pasted because there are many uh, sensors we have created that is show me the B. So this time we can create the name in PIR sensor and this is topic, state topic, and this is a, a state template. Uh, this ID you need to change by yourself. Uh, different devices have different ID. So you just click the save. Click the save and you can restart setting and uh, sorry, setting and uh, restart, restart it. Restart it, then you can go to the overview and add the dashboard, add the card and you can see this glance and you can input PIR, PIR state that we have created uh, just this one, PIR state. Okay, now you can see this is create the PIR state, that is, is very easy. So you just, just choose uh, the voice or the true uh, to make the home automation. So you can see here is the history, uh, when is false and when is true. Uh, make sure this F is case, and if I in front of this one, uh, this true that is T R U E. This true, this T is case. So we can go to automation. You can see here configuration. We can go to this automation. You can see I have. We can we need to create two automation. Uh, one is turn on the light, and the second is turn off the light. So uh, we can see I have created uh, this PIR sensor for turn on. You can see how it turn on. I can change this name. It's on. PIR light is on, and the triangle type is state. I choose to the state, and the entity we have created that name. You can see we have created that name is PIR state. That is entity. So you can. Just uh, choose the PIR state, and uh, this is too true. Uh, you not make sure not use this this true. You should use this T R U E. Uh, this is the case, uh, not 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 for mistake. And this is true that we have somebody. Then we can call service. Uh, this choose call service, and uh, this time. We can use this switch because we have used switch. We can call the switch on, and we can choose a channel output. We can choose this output for channel four. So we can choose this one. Okay, you can save and back. And if you have disable or enable, enable this one, and you can see here your PI sensor is first. Now we can in front of my hand, uh, that will be on. Now you can see the channel 4 is on, but it will be always on. So we need to, according to this PIR sensor, to turn off the channel 4, when nobody in front of the PIR sensor. So we can create another automation. So we can uh, go to automation again, and this time we can create the PIR light off. We can create automation and uh, I choose this one and uh, name PIR light off this time we have choose off and this is device just choose the state uh, according to the state and uh, to force F-A-L-S-E force and this entity we can click we can input the PIR state 
by this one according to this one and the action that will need a call service at this time the service is switch type is for off and uh, choose entity that is for output for channel 4 okay we can see I can press save and back that we can enable uh, enable this one uh, so you can see why I, my hand in front of it uh, that you on now my hand have released uh, but this have delete time we just wait for a moment you can see I can go to this website and now you can see it also is true so when this become false uh, the relay channel 4 will out of so let's wait for a moment okay you can see here it become false and this relay output 4 is off and this is off so this is makes the whole automation according to the PIR sensor to turn on relay and turn off relay also you can use this way for many automation okay thanks for watching